Why are you not affected by the fire? It's light. Those are only torches. Come here. Ah, son of shotgun. You are my best friend. Next stop, saving Emma. Saving Emma, saving Emma. You gotta save her life because she is Emma. There's a manuscript over there. Another man might be shocked to find himself near Night Springs and indeed to find the town in Arizona as opposed to any other place it might be in. But for the champion of light, the obvious taint of corruption he senses here is of far greater interest. Ooh. Actually, I want to go to the diner first because I didn't win there the second time to check for manuscripts. And that would have cost me. And of course, look, there's a manuscript. With all the herbs, crystals, and the rest of her New Age paraphernalia, Emma Sloan had been called a hippie and a freak and worse. I hate hippies. It was that small town mentality. She was a female mechanic, and even in 2011, there were always going to be backward shit kickers who thought that was a hoot. She didn't mind. She could deal. She could take any engine apart, even the new ones with all the computers in them. Turned out that these boys were awful polite while waiting for her to put them back together. <laughs> And it was the hypocrites. Great. Can't open that door. Well, bugger me. Flare gun. Well, flare ammo. Don't need to pick on that. Yeah, ammo lake is pretty quick of um, reloading uh, that shotgun. I just realized that. Just, well, he has been using weapons for a long time, but a off shotgun? Come on! What are you, British gangster? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, you... Bam! Oh! Hello, Park Ranger! Are you looking for Yogi Bear? He's not here. Oh, shit. Look, you need to be pissed off. Thank you. I do not take kind to your, well, welcome. It's a bit uh, vicious and violent. One is in the ah. One was in the phone box there. Getting the Andersons into the recording studio was a struggle and a half, but once they actually picked up the instruments, something happened. They were two old men, and they weren't. They were doddering bags of bone. And they were barely contained power. And there was music. Barry rubbed his hands together. He knew how to pick a winner. Now all they needed was some direction on how to make things a little more modern. Barry had never produced a thing in his life. But he knew what he liked. He knew Balance Slays the Demon was going to be a hit. Woo! Oh, he's not in there. What the hell? Oh, but grenades. I think it's time to throw this in here. Right, no, no messing around. Take that, and I think it's time to just shoot you endlessly. Oh, that rifle is just... Yeah, that rifle is saying, don't mess with me, don't mess with my bed pal, jam one. Use? Why the hell would I use this? So, one morning I was, I was running, it was in the fall, it was about um, 6 o'clock in the morning, it was the, the sun, was, sun was just coming up, and there's this huge estate right on the Long Island Sound called the Ziegler Estate, and it's, it, it's, it's monstrous, and it has these old iron gates that have these, they're spiked, very, very sharp, but it's, uh, I mean, acres and acres of land, and so I'm running, and I'm listening to uh, Tosca, listening to opera. And there's a moment in Tosca where uh, Tosca's about to stab Scarpia, okay? And it's like, it's very, very dramatic. And it's like, they're like, there's this huge duet. And so I'm, like, I'm running, I'm running, running, and you can see the breath coming, you know, you can see my breath coming, the sun is coming up, and there's this incredible scene happening. And all of a sudden, I, come, I, 
in the distance, I look, I see something that's on the, on the fence. And as I'm running up, I realize it's a deer. And the deer has tried to jump over this fence, like eight feet, eight feet high, tried to jump over the fence. It landed on top of the, the fence. It caught it in its chest and it slid all the way down. So it opened the, the deer from the chest to all the way down its stomach. And it Beautiful. was still alive. It was flailing, absolutely flailing. And I, just, and I remember just this music and the thing was running and I, 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 I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I absolutely couldn't believe what I was seeing. And I, I, I couldn't get at the deer. It was on the other side. So it's like the idea of like, okay, well, you, you should help the deer, you know, try to put out his mirror. I couldn't get near it. And it was huge. It was gigantic. And so I, I, uh, yeah, and there was like gigantic, gigantic horns. I mean, it was like, it was the, it was a, it was, it was, a, it was a visual I will never, ever, ever forget. And I just remember as I was running and just these, these flock of crows that were like in the trees just flying. It was the most cinematic, frightening thing I've ever seen. I, I, I just stood there. I stood there until it died, you know, and then just started running home. Great! I don't know what that was all about. But you made... What is that in there? I think that's ammo, actually. Before I return to Emma, I need to have a good look around for... Uh, manuscripts. Flares. Can I pick up any more flares? That's shit. The thing is any oh wait, there is more. There it is. I bet I missed them uh, the last time I was here for a bugger. Some of the taken aren't protected by the darkness like their comrades. Instead, their aversion to light is so extreme that they literally split into two when they encounter strong light. It leaves the two halves weaker. But of course, there's strength in numbers. It's a disturbing development. The dark presence I faced two years ago was powerful, but it didn't have much in the way of imagination. Clearly, the same cannot be said of Mr. Yeah, great. Is that the excuse you're gonna get away with it? Uh, they're not powerful. <laughs> they didn't have much of imagination. Now, oh, what's this? Ah, oh, I bet I missed a manuscript down here, didn't I? But it looks like a weapon locker. This is, so what is it? Magnum? Oh yeah, I'm taking this. No one behind me, good. Oh yeah! Oh, what the hell, that's great. <laughs> One hit kills. That's just ooh. Ah, oh, I didn't realize this was here the last time. Ah, oh. just shows how much I missed here the last. It just shows shows how much I missed. See anyone else here? They have a little. They have a good look. Could be more weapon lockers here. Is there like a a distance I can go from here? Ah, I can't go any further because I assume so. No, nope, I'm getting attacked. Actually, I thought it was gonna force me back into the other part. There you go. I forgot how to say Park Ranger. I told you, I don't know where Yogi Bear is. I missed that other shot. Oops. Maybe I could check out the mine. The, yeah, the mines. Do you check the TV? Do you check this? Do you check that?
Check over here first. Don't want to see Emma yet. <laughs> Car crushed. Okay. Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, come on. Oh, yes, you finally jumped over it. Pick this up first. Emma wasn't sure exactly when the man arrived at the motel. But from what she could tell, the party started almost immediately. It was infectious, spreading from one room to another. He was mercurial, almost as if he was flickering through the scene, telling a joke here, throwing an insult there, oozing sex and violence and excitement. She had never seen someone like this before. He looked at her and smiled, and she felt her heart flutter a little. She knew he was the kind of man mothers warned their daughters about, but she told herself it didn't matter. But it did because you're dead. So I've been thinking about Barry. I don't know what to do about him yet. I mean, I'm not going to keep him around, that's for sure. Al. Al! Ugh, little parasite. Your best friend. Really? That's the best you can do. I actually kind of like the guy. He's a plucky little butterball. He plays the clown. That's a hard road to take. <laughs> but I don't need him sticking his fat face in my business. <sighs> Did you know he's been hanging out with the sheriff? From that shitty little town? They keep in touch. Barry's about the only guy who insists that you're not dead. How about that? <sighs> I might keep him alive for a while. <laughs> Just to see him go to pieces when I fire his ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I noticed that your voice has changed. <laughs> yeah. 